Hey guys, something came to me about 45 minutes ago, I believe, actually an hour ago, and I wanted to celebrate with you what God has done. He's created in you a clean heart, renewed in you a right spirit, has not casted you from him, has filled you with his Holy Spirit. By his grace, you are made beautiful you are created as good to him now by his grace through the power of his Holy Spirit. He has gone through the fire with you. He has sat in the trenches with you. He has watched as you failed and, and welcomed you with open arms quickly when you turned to him. He has struggled with you. He has been patient. He has been faithful. He has been through the battle with you and me, creating in us the beautiful creation that the world sees now and that he considers good. You have become a pleasure to him. Whether you be male or female, to give that to someone who doesn't know him, doesn't want to know him, is like giving a brand new, spanking new $500,000 mink coat to a homeless person who has no ability to care for that mink coat. Whether they want to or not, they do not have the ability to care for that mink coat. Yes, the mink coat will give the warmth that it is designed to give. It will give the comfort that it is designed to give. It will do everything that it is designed to give. But that person that has that mink coat can't care for that mink coat the way it's supposed to be cared for. They don't have the ability to. Even if they wanted to, they don't have the ability to. So think about that when you choose that person that you want to spend the rest of your life with. Are they like that homeless man or homeless woman who has no capability, even if they wanted to, to take care of that mink coat? Are you going to allow the Lord to help you choose one who is, in fact, a meat coat themselves being taken care of by the, by the owner by their owner who is the sovereign king who knows how to take care of his 